It's awfully nice of the Reapers to leave us alone at this convenient moment. Take a look around. Maybe one of these artifacts is what we're looking for. Could this be the artifact? I don't think so. It's the goddess Athame's sword. Myths say she wielded it against the jealous gods who threatened our ancestors. They were a race called the Oravoras. Thessia had vast resources. We protected you from them. You protected? But then Athame. There is more to your history than you know, Asari. <gasps> shock yeah. oh I wish you guys could have seen my face like okay I wasn't that shocked considering the first time I played through this game I didn't actually have Javik or at least I didn't bring him on this mission but that meant it was kind of slowly piecing it together more and more as you examine more of these artifacts but when you bring Javik along he just outright says it what's this It was an asteroid strike. We deflected it. Are you actually suggesting that the Protheans intervened in our past? It's more than a suggestion. I find it strange your scientists would abandon their own planet. They wouldn't. So, Javik, what you're saying is you guys didn't really have much of a, of a prime directive, huh? What about this one? A page from one of our earliest religious texts, the Athame Codex. I doubt this is it. It describes Lucin. A famous guide who taught our ancestors about the stars. Your species was deemed to have potential. A pity you didn't live up to it. Javik, basically consider this the last mission you ever go on. I'm sorry, but you're just such a dick. I can't... I can't even bring myself to... to... Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it there. Could this be the artifact? I don't think so. That's a sculpture of Lucin, one of a Thames servants who walked among my ancestors, bestowing knowledge. And you don't see the resemblance. He was no servant of an imaginary goddess. He was Prothean. Yeah, you really can't deny that. That's actually right in your face. I mean, Javik could just have been making stuff up with the other stuff, but... This is a little bit too much of a coincidence. Uh, what else is there? There's a whole bunch of stuff to learn the history of. Another page from the Codex. Not very useful. It talks about a Thames guide granting us the gift of biotics as a reward for worshipping her. That gift involved years of genetic research. I... Uh, this is almost too much to take. What are we looking at here? A primitive rendition of the goddess of Thame. She's speaking to her ancient Asari followers. I don't think this is the artifact. Another one of your myths that somehow looks Prothean. What you're implying, it's staggering. We were here. I'm guessing these are the scientists. Oh, hi. Hi. Um. It's interesting that those two are uh, kind of just laying down next to each other in a pool of blood. Especially when uh, there was a shield up at the front at door. A primitive rendition of the goddess of Thame. She's speaking to her ancient Another one of these? Followers. I don't think this is the artifact. Another one of your myths that somehow looks Prothean. What do you know about this? A fragment from the Codex. It's not what we need. It describes how Athame's guide, Janiri, gave my people seeds. He taught them the season so they could grow crops. We didn't want you to starve. We aren't making any progress. I think we should examine your scientists. Shush! I am learning important history here, okay? Doesn't look useful. That's Janiri, a Thames guide who brought enlightenment to Thessia long ago. He was no servant of an imaginary goddess. He was Prothean. You don't need your kneecaps, right? Didn't think so. How about this? It's more from the Codex. Doesn't look promising. It describes how a Thame taught our ancestors mathematics. Before that, you could only count as high as your toes. We took pity. This doesn't really sit with the rest of what Javik's told us of the Protheans. I mean, if you guys remember, or if maybe I'm remembering incorrectly, but he talked constantly about conquering other weaker empires. Here, he's talking about nurturing the Asari when they were still very, very primitive. 
very much interfering when perhaps they really had no reason to. I guess potentially they took them under their wing to protect them for their vast resources in hopes of one day exploiting that, but at the same time, why not just take the planet for your own? Instead, you brought up the civilization. It's, um, I don't know, it's a little, it's weird, it's interesting. Their throats. What happened to them? They've been slit. The Reapers didn't do this. We're going to have to figure this out on our own. Who's that supposed to be? The goddess of Thame herself. It's a relic of the old faith. Then why does the Thame speak Prothean? What do you mean? There is something here. I can sense it. In this temple? I admit it is strange this place has been so well preserved. Though a Thame does have great historical significance, we once believed our gods were separate from the world, looking down on... There is a universal energy. There's a Prothean beacon here. What? You're sure? It's not something you forget. But why hide it? The answer is obvious. Power and influence. Your people are holding the knowledge of my race for their own gain. That can't be. I can't believe my people would keep this a secret. I feel like this is such a dick thing to say about straight to Liara's face, especially after everything she's just learnt. Um, all of these kind of seem like dick things to say, if I'm brutally honest. I, I guess let's go with this one. Well, if it is true, the Asari should have shared this knowledge. We might not have been in this mess if they had. You don't know that, Shepard. We don't know what's going on here. I know we don't have much time to find out. The few records I can access talk about tapping into Prothean data streams, reconstructing matrices, none of which I see here. I do. The activation process has begun. By the goddess. Literally. Look around. There must be more of these connections. Incredible. The beacon seems to think you're Prothean, Shepard. It must be the cipher you got back on Pharos years ago. Or it could be the Prothean standing next to you. No, it would have activated without you here. Sorry to break it to you, buddy. Searching. There have to be more connections. Alright, I think the next one is the shield, or is that too far away? Nope! And there's there. one more if I remember correctly, I think. It seems each connection provides more power to the beacon. Asari are observant. Was that sarcasm? And easily confused. Doesn't look like a nope. connection. Okay. The end of the war is here. Find what we need. Finish the crucible. Maybe it's this one. Is that isn't what we need. Okay, I know there's one more on this side. Perhaps it's right over here. There we go. The best place to hide a secret is out in the open. The activation is complete. We can access the Honestly, I kind of don't like how Shepard was kind of telling Liara off. It wasn't her fault in any way, shape, or form, yet it seemed like he was telling her off for the Asari keeping the secret. We can access Which is, the uh, it's just, I hate, I hate when people do that. Shepard, I'm disappointed in you. We need to hurry. This place isn't going to... Last very long. Obtaining chronological marker. Hold. Time scale established. Post Prothean cycle confirmed. One of our computers. Reaper presence detected. This galactic cycle has already reached its extinction terminus. Systems shutting down. Hold on. We need answers. To what question? The catalyst. We need to know what it is to finish the crucible. A memory of one of my people. I am called Vendetta, an advanced virtual construct of Patrick Van, overseer of the project you refer to as Crucible. He died fighting the Reapers in the Battle of Tranvia 9. 
Your remaining time is also at an end. Were all Protheans so grim? What happened to the Crucible in your time? Why didn't the Protheans deploy it? We were sabotaged from within. A splinter group argued we should dominate the Reapers rather than destroy them. <laughs> it fractured our order of battle. Later we discovered the Separatists were indoctrinated. I always suspected as much. And now we're facing the same problem. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, that doesn't sound familiar. That time is cyclical. Many patterns repeat. Like the Reaper attacks. And beyond. The same peaks of evolution, the same valleys of dissolution. The same conflicts are expressed in every cycle, but in a different manner. The repetition is too prevalent to be merely chance. We assume the Reapers were responsible for the pattern. Perhaps. Though I believe the Reapers are only servants of the pattern. They are not its master. So who is the master? Unknown. Its presence is inferred rather than observed. The only certainty is its intention. Galactic annihilation. You now stand at that precipice. There's still hope for this cycle. We need to know what the catalyst is. Trillions of lives are at risk. Trillions of lives are always at risk. But if the Reapers have arrived to end your cycle, this discussion is too late. We can break the cycle. We found your plans for the Crucible. We're building it right now. The Crucible is not of Prothean design. It is the work of countless galactic cycles stretching back millions of years. Each cycle adds to it. Each improves upon it. Thus far, none have successfully defeated the Reapers with it. Then we'll be the first. Tell us what the catalyst is. Listen to the human. He can be trusted. I detect you are one of us. You are Prothean. The last. I am the final hope to avenge our people. Your mission was known to me. Do you believe this present cycle can deliver retribution? They have earned the right to try. Tell us what we need to know. Very well. If you have followed the plans for the Crucible, I will interface with your systems and assist with the Catalyst too. Indoctrinated presence detected. Activating security protocol. Well, it's good to know that we're not indoctrinated. Someone would like to talk with you. Shoot it out of his hand. I don't have time for this. Honestly, why are we being so patient? I really question this. We know it's going to be the elusive man. We know he's just going to ramble on Shepherd. at us. How did you find this place? The archives. Or did your shadow broker miss that one? Show yourself. I promise I won't miss. Stick to your talents, Dr. Dasani. You've helped uncover the key to subjugating the Reapers. Or destroying them. Damn it, Shepard. Destroying the Reapers gains us nothing. Except Our life. Peace. They're just trying to control us. Think about it. If they wanted all organic life destroyed, they could do it. There would be nothing left. Did you learn nothing from Mass Effect 2 from when you hired... I uh, hired... Yeah, I'd say hired. They were harvesting us to make more Reapers, jeez, are you- Can we shoot that stupid glowing ball thing again? Because no matter what, anytime one of those things shows up, it's always somebody annoying and I really don't have patience for them. What the hell are you talking about? I know them, Shepard. I know how they think. I think you've gotten a little too close to the enemy. No. I'm saying they've got it right. Why kill when you can control? You've been spending too much time with the enemy. They're dragging you over to their side, their way of thinking. No, I just see things differently. That's a very important moment, by the way. If you about humanity, you'll stop fighting me. You'll join me. Don't ever question my intentions. I've sacrificed more for humanity than you'll ever know. And don't assume you know me. My methods for dealing with the Reapers are simply more refined than yours. Yeah, so that Paragon slash Renegade moment over, over there where you had the two dialogue choices, it's very important that you have those because it's going to make things a lot easier or potentially harder later on, uh, depending on which path you want to take. Um, I don't want to spoil too much, but essentially, if you don't have those options yet, it, 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 you're going to have to put a lot more effort into gaining war assets for the end. Um, but 
we were working towards that anyway. You've forgotten everything you stood for. Cerberus was supposed to be humanity's sword, not a dagger in our back. Poetic, but as usual, you miss the point. The world is more gray than you care to admit. With the Prothean data in this beacon, I can end this conflict, once and for all. You're either with me or against me. There's nothing gray about that. No, I suppose there isn't. Leng, the commander has something I need. Please relieve him of it. And then bring me the data. Understood. Ah, uh, freaking Kai Lang. At least we get a little bit of satisfaction in fighting him. Okay, let's go with stasis and let's go with warp. Actually, hold on. I want to see if stasis worked on him. Nope, apparently not. Let's go with flare then. The be all end all. Wait, what? What are you guys doing? Oh, right, the bright light was blinding us for a brief second. Well, that's what we have a heads up display for. Oh, oh, that really knocked my health down. Okay, let's never go up against a gunship again. Apparently, we can handle Reapers. We can't handle gunships. Let's go with first aid, because I don't want to be caught in that position again. And let's see. I have my flare again. Might as well use it. God damn it. The gunship's taking up position! And I'm taking up position behind this convenient pillar. Ah, no matter what, his his shields restore. Oh, and I'm out of ammo. Okay, there's some ammo to my right, but I've got to make sure that I get to it first. Where did he go? Hi, buddy. Had your fun now, Shepard. Nope. Nope. Somebody stop him. Somebody hit him with something. Anything. It's a pity the good ones never last. There's only one way this ends. With the dagger in your back? <sighs> Target the supports. Oh, you little chicken. Then again, we were fighting him three to one, but still. Using a gunship, that does not even the odds. Come on, I will fight you one on one and I will win. I fought three of me and one against against them. Cerberus thanks you for all your hard work. Did he honestly think I would be dead from from that? I've survived much worse. That is going to be his undoing. Honestly, I wouldn't even assume he'd be dead from a fall like that. Even if we did fall, even if he did fall, neither of us would be dead. You can't trust it. You can only trust it if you see a dead body and you confirm that it is dead, and then reconfirm it by filling it with more bullet holes. Honestly, I don't think that's helping. Anyone on this frequency? This is Lieutenant Curin. My squad is trapped. This is Shepard. Give us your location. I repeat, is anyone on this frequency? We read you. Give me your location. The lieutenant's down. Our whole zone is collapsing. What happened to Shepard? Did they make it to the temple? I saw them. Please, is anybody there? I... Oh, goddess. No! 
It's interesting. You th you would think that Liara would be a bit more broken up about this, but I guess Shepard right now is more frustrated than broken up, more angry than sad. Whereas Liara is probably more disheartened. Commander? Counselor. The mission. We've lost the contract to sale. It's gone dark. How soon will the Crucible be ready to deploy? Counselor. I wish the news was better. We didn't get the information. What happened? Cerberus was there. We were... We were defeated. We don't know how to finish the Crucible. I... I don't know what to say. What was the situation on Thessia? Deteriorating fast. The Reapers are there in strength. Then you'll excuse me. There are... Preparations to make. Continuity of civilization to consider. I never thought this day would come. None of us did. I'm... Sorry. Asari forces are in full retreat. It is no longer safe for us to remain in this system. Get us out of here. Shepard. I... Nobody could have predicted Cerberus would reach Thessia before us. It's my job to be prepared, no matter what. And now Thessia's lost, as is the data on the Catalyst. I'm sick of Cerberus beating us to the punch. Let's kick them in the balls first for a change. I'm with James. Anyone know where they're hiding? Anyone? Um... Well, there is something. Let's hear it, trainer. I was able to track Kai Leng's shuttle through the relay and extrapolate his destination. But the signal disappeared in the Yera system. Naturally. It's not just gone, though. The signal is being actively blocked. How? I'm not sure. But something is interfering with all signal activity in that region of space. Commander, the Yara system is home to Sanctuary and little else. Sanctuary is a supposed safe haven for war refugees. You think it's worth checking out, trainer? Yes, sir. I do. If Specialist Trainer hadn't examined the data so astutely, the interference would have been undetectable. Nice work, Trainer. You've given us a shot. Now let's make sure we don't waste it. I was stationed on Horizon in the Lyris system, and you were the only Cerberus presence while I was there. It's a slim lead. Let's hope it's the right one. I don't care how slim the leads are at this point. We've come too far to let Cerberus stop us. I want that Prothean data. I want the Catalyst. No excuses. Dismissed. Oh, nobody's gonna like him when he's pissed. Yeah, I think Shepard might... Honestly, in character, as I'm playing him, I think he might be making a few more renegade options after this point due to his frustration and just wanting to get the job done. He's gonna stick to his morals, obviously, but... I don't know, I think he's going to step over the line a little bit in some situations. We'll see. We'll see what renegade options we're presented with and whether or not I go with them. I also love how James, not James, sorry, Caden went that he, he said that we were the only Cerberus uh, presence while he was stationed there. Really? This is a super secret organization, Caden. They're, they're not going to be obvious and raise a uh, Cerberus flag. Not after we took down that Reaper on Rannoch. I don't know. Yeah, but there's no way we could have stopped every Reaper on Thessia. The Asari should have jumped in earlier. The Asari should have jumped in earlier, but they're not fighters, and there's no point quibbling over all of that now. 
Cerberus has attacked a comp facility on Onteron. I've updated the galaxy map. Thanks for listening, Commander. It Not was a good a idea. And right now, it's the best lead we've got. Well, we're gonna do the Onteron mission first, I think. Let's see. Well, we've got new emails. Evacuating Thessia. Good, you opened this message. There isn't actually a sorry... This isn't actually a sorry military command. They're busy tending to what's left of their planet. So you survived our fight on Thessia. You're not as weak as I thought, but never forget that your best wasn't good enough to stop me. You had a gunship. Next time, you won't be so lucky. Now an entire planet is dying because you lacked the strength to win. The Legend of Shepard needs to be rewritten. I'm hoping I'm there. I hope I'm there for the last chapter. It ends with your death. I'm not so sure about that, Kai Leng. Housewarming from Talizora. Shepard, next time we're on the Citadel, I'd love to come by. No rush, but it's nice to have a place there you can call home. You know, I think we might do that next episode because I think we need a little we need a little something to calm ourselves down. Anyway, unfortunately, that's all I've got time for today. In our next episode, we are going to go get those war assets because they're super important. We're going to deal with that N7 mission, and then we're going to go see Tali for that housewarming present or housewarming meeting, whatever it is she wants to, to meet us over. I guess we'll find out. Anyway, I hope you guys have an awesome day. I'll see you next time.